How did you meet John? Uh, I met him just walking along the road one day. I knew he came from the school I went to, and uh, he's he's another character. I mean, he's he could never melt into a crowd. He's sort of, he was a gawky kind of figure, and he had this uh, strange-looking instrument, which was the first electric bass I'd ever seen, which he'd, he'd made himself. Mm -hmm. It was like a, shaped like an old boot. And he was walking along the road and carrying it. We had it round his neck and he was picking on it. <laughs> really? And I said, yeah, I want to join a band. And he said, oh, all right. And then uh, next to come along was Peter Townsend. Yeah, then Townsend came along about a year later. How'd you meet him? There's another complete individual. I mean, Townsend must have had such a terrible childhood at school, you know. I mean, because he was all nose at that when he was young. He really was. It was like a nose on legs. It was really, I mean, I don't. I mean, I know he's got this thing about his nose, but I mean, it, it must have been murder to him. I mean, God, he must have gone through hell. And who was um, playing drums? At this time, we had various drummers. Out of the crowd came this. In, Incredible ginger geezer wearing a bright ginger suit with bright ginger hair with his great big massive brown eyes. <laughs> and he came out and said, Here, yeah, up and play the drums a million times better than that geezer. <laughs> I went, Oh, yeah. You know, I thought, Right little twerp we got here. <laughs> and uh, I said, Go on, have a go then. So he got up and he, he, within two songs he, he demolished the drum kit. So we asked about him and we learned that he was a, a pyromaniac from Wembley <laughs> who once, <laughs> whose claim to fame was that he once tried to burn down Wembley Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> that was Keith Moon. And I mean, that, that's when we really started to go places.